Hi friends, today I'm going to show you how to make a needle cardigan. I will make this cardigan in the size small, but you can find the full reach pattern for on size from as small to 5 extra large on my blog at the description below. And if you like this video, do not forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Now let's get started. To make it, you will need DK weight yarn, 6.5 mm crochet hook, 5.5 mm crochet hook, scissors, darling needle, and stick markers. Now we will start with the 6.5 mm crochet hook. Leave the yarn to sew the sides together, and now we will start to make a frozen chain with 145 chains after having 145 chains now chain the hook into the 5.5 millimeter one and and then chain one now we are going to work into the back pump um, by yarn over the hook insert the hook into the second chain from the hook yarn over the hook pull up a loop now we have a three loops on your hook pull the first loop through the second and the third loops on your hook we have the first yarn over slip stitch yarn over slip stitch into the next chain yarn over slip stitch into each chain until the end of the row you should have a 145 stitches in total note that the first row is the right side of your cardigan to make the second row this is the wrong side of your cardigan chain one turn your work back loop yeah, I was loose the end to the first stitch. Back loop, yeah, I was loose the end to each stitch until one stitch left. Yeah, over slip it into the last stitch. Repeat the second row until row thirty-four. You still have one hundred and forty-five stitches in total. Place the stick marker at the 30 second stick from the beginning of the row. Now we will make the left back panel. To make the first row, chain 1, turn your work. Back loop, yarn over slip stick into the first stick. Back loop, yarn over slip stick into each stick until one stick left from the stick marker. Remove the stick marker. Back loop, yeah, over slip stick into the stick with the remove stick marker. Skip the remaining stitches with the 6.5 mm crochet hook, chain 31.
After having 31 chains, chain the hook into the 5.5mm crochet hook. To make the second row, chain 1, turn your work. Yeah, always loose the into the back palm of the second chain from the hook. Yeah, I was list into the back palm of each chain until the last chain. Back loop, yeah, I was list into each step until one step left yeah always lift into the last step to make the third row Chain one, turn your work. Back loop. Yeah, I was list into the first step. Back loop. Yeah, I was list into each step until one step left. Yeah, I was list into the last step. Repeat. Row 3 until row 35. Now we will make the center back panel. To make the first row, turn your work. Slip stick into the first stick. Slip stick into the next stick. Back loop, yeah, I was list into each step until one step left. Yeah, I was list into the last step. To make the second row, chain one, turn your work. Back loop. Yeah, I was lift into the first stick. Back loop. Yeah, I was lift into each stick until five stitches left. Yeah, I was lift into the next stick. Skip. Four last stitches to make the third row. Turn your work, slip the into the first stitch. Back loop, yeah, over slip the into each stitch until one stitch left. Yeah, I was lift into the last step to make row four, chain one, turn your work. Back loop. Yeah, I was lift into the first step. Back loop. Yeah, I was lift into each step until two stitches left. Yeah, I was lift it into the next step. Skip the last step. To make row 5, turn your work. Slip it into the first step.
back loop. You always loop the into each step until one step left. Yeah, always loop the into the last step to make row six. Turn one, turn your work back loop. Yeah, always loop the into the first step. Back loop. Yeah, always loop the into each step until two stitches left. Yeah, always loose it into the next step. And skip the last step. To make row 7, chain 1, turn your work. Back loop. Yeah, always loose it into the first step. Back loop, yeah, I always lift the into each step until one step left. Yeah, I always lift into the last step. Repeat row 7 until row 24. To make row 25, chain 2, turn your work. Yeah, always loop into the second chain from the hook. Back loop, yeah, always loop the into each step until one step left yeah always lift it into the last step row 26 chain one turn your work back loop yeah always lift it into the first step back loop yeah always lift it into each step until one step left yeah always lift it into the last step To make row 27, chain 2, turn your work. Yeah, always loose into the second chain from the hook. Back loop, yeah, always loose into each step until one step left. Yeah, always loose into the last step. To make row 28, chain 1, turn your work. Back loop, you yeah, always lift it into the first step. Back loop, you yeah, always lift it into each step until one step left. You yeah, always lift it into the last step. To make row 29, chain 5, turn your work. Yeah, always loop it into the second chain from the hook. Yeah, always loop it into each chain. Back loop, yeah, always loop it into each step until one step left. Yeah, always loop it into the last step. 
Now we will make the right back panel to make row 1, chain 1, turn your work. Back loop your alpha slip stitch into the first stitch. Back loop your alpha slip stitch into each stitch until one stitch left. Your alpha slip stitch into the last stitch. Repeat row 1 until row 34. Place the stitch marker at the 32nd stitch from the beginning of the row. Now we will make the right panel. To make row 1, chain 1, turn your work. Back loop the alpha slip stitch into the first stitch. Back loop the alpha slip stitch into each stitch until one stitch left from the stitch marker. Remove the stitch marker. Back loop your alpha slip stitch into the stitch with the remove stitch marker. Skip the remaining stitches with a 6.5 mm crochet hook. Chain 31. With the 5.5 millimeter crochet hook to make a row two chain one turn your work yeah over slice it into the back palm of the second chain from the hook yeah over slice it into the back palm of each chain until the last chain Back loop the alpha slip stitch into each stitch until one stitch left. The alpha slip stitch into the last stitch. To make row 3, chain 1, tie your work. Back loop the alpha slip stitch into the first stitch. Back loop your alpha slip stitch into each stitch until one stitch left. Your alpha slip stitch into the last stitch. Repeat row 3 until row 35. Fasten up. Leave the yarn to sew the shoulders together. We have finished the body panel. Now we will turn the wrong side of the body panel out. Use the yarn left earlier, sew the sides together.
After Vanessa went, turned the rest of the body out. Now we will make the highlight. Insert the hook into the first step of the left panel. Secure the yarn and pull up a loop. To make the first row with the loose tension along the left panel, we will chain one. Back loop slips the into the first step. Back loop slips the into each step of the left panel. Along the back panel, we will back loop slips the into the next four stitches. So let's stick along each row. Back loop, slice it into the next four stitches. Along the right panel, we will Back loop, slip so stick into each stick until one step left. Slip so stick into the last stick. To make the second row, chain one, turn your work. Back loop, slip stick into the first stick. Back loop, slip stick into each stick until one stick left. Slip stick into the last stick. Repeat row 2 until row 9. To make row 10, chain 1, turn your work. With the normal tension, back loop slips the into the first step. Back loop slips the into each step until one step left. Slips the into the last step.
to make the bottom edge with the normal tension we will chain one slip stitch along the second row skip one row slip stitch along the next row repeat two slip along the next row and skip one row until the end of the left hand line Along the body panel, we will slip it along each row until the end of the body panel. Slip stitch along the first row, skip one row, slip stitch along the next row, repeat until the end of the right hand line. And skip the last row, fasten up. To make sleeve, we will leave the yarn to sew the sleeve to the body and we will start with the sleeve increase part with a 5.5mm crochet hook make a fortison chain with 4 chains To make the first row, this is the right side of your sleeve Slip it into the second chain from the hook. Slip it in the to the next stitch. Yeah, always slip it into the last stitch. We so have all three stitches in total. To make the second row, chain one, turn your work. Back loop, yeah, over slip stitch into the first stitch. Back loop, slip stitch into the next stitch. Slip stitch into the last stitch. Chain 23 To make the third row, turn your wick, slip it into the second chain from the hook. Slip it into the next 10 stitches. I always slip it into each chain until the last chain.
back loop. Yeah, always loop the end to each step until one step left. Yeah, always loop the end to the last step. We still have uh, 25 stitches in total. To make row for chain one, turn your work back loop. Yeah, always loop the end to the first step. Back loop. Yeah, always loop the end to each step until six. Stitches left. Back loop slow step into each step until one step left. Slip it into the last step. Chain twenty three. To make row five. Turn your work, slip the into second chain from the hook. Slip the into the next ten chains. Yeah, always loop the into each chain until the last chain. Back loop, yeah, always loop the into each step until one step left. Yeah, always loop the into the last step. We so have a forty-seven stitches in total. Repeat from row four to row five until row nine. We so have a total of ninety-one stitches in total. Now we will make the men's sleeve. To make the first row of the men's sleeve. Chain one. Turn your work. Back loop, yeah, always loop the into the first step. Back loop, yeah, always loop the into each step until one step left. Yeah, always loop the into the last step. We so have a total of 91 stitches in total. Repeat row 1 until row 42. Place 
the marker at the tenth step from the beginning of the row. Now we will make the sleeve decrease to make the first row chain one. Turn your work. Back loop your yeah, overslip slips into the first step. Back loop your yeah, overslip slips into each step until 11 stitches left from the slip marker. Back loop slips into each step until 1 step left from the slip marker. Slip it into stick with the remove slip marker. Skip the remaining stitches. We have a total of eighty stitches in total. To make the second row, chain one, turn your work. Skip the first stick. Back loop slip it into the next five stitches. Back loop the yeah, overslip into each step until one step left. The yeah, overslip into the last step. We should have a total of 79 stitches in total. Place the slip marker at the 22nd stitch from the beginning of the row. Repeat from row 1 to row 2 until row 8. Fast enough, leave the yarn to sew the two ends of the sleeves together and crochet the sleeve edge. After uh, finish the sleeve, we will fold the sleeves in the half length ways. With the wrong side facing towards you and with stick the long edge of the sleeves together.
and then we will make the sleeve edge by using the yarn left as a sewing insert up into the seam pull up a loop and we will use the 5.5 mm crochet hook to chain one with the normal tension we will slow it into each row until the end of the sleeve And then we will make the invisible join To make the pocket with the 6.5 mm crochet hook, make a foundation chain with 38 chains. With the 5.5 mm crochet hook, to make the first row, chain 1, and we will work into the back pump. Yeah, always list into the second chain from the hook. Yeah, always list into each chain until the end of the row. To make the second row, chain 1, turn your work. Back loop, yeah, always list into the first stitch. Back loop, yeah, always list into each stitch until one stitch left. Yeah, always loose into the last stitch. Repeat row 2 until row 27. To so make the pocket edge, chain 1, turn your work with the normal tension, slip it along each row until the end of the row. Fast enough, leave the yarn to sew the pockets to the cardigan. Turn the wrong side off the cardigan and the sleeves out. Lift the, the top up sleeves to the armholes.
for nice looking so the back loop of M hold to front loop of the sleeve at the first half round So the front loop of the arm hole to front loop of the sleeve at the second half round. Turn the right side out, pin the pockets to the cardigan, whip slip the pockets to the cardigan. Here I place is the marker row to help sew in the pocket line up with the cardigan. Weaving on of your ends. I 
have a finished the neat look cardigan. Thanks for watching. See you soon in the next video and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.